Hello everyone, today we have to factorize this amazing expression as in this expression we have three terms. So we have two methods. Number one is middle term or number two is perfect square. So middle term is not possible over here. How would I know? Because the middle term is also one and the coefficient of first and last term is also one. So over here the middle term is not possible. So we can apply a perfect squaring method to make it a perfect square. The expression is x8 plus x4 plus 1. Now we want two perfect square terms to make it a perfect square. But we have all three terms as a perfect square. As we know, x power 8 is a perfect square of x power 4 over a square x power 4 is also a perfect square of x square over square and 1 is itself a perfect square number. So which two numbers will be choose to make it a perfect square? As we know, we want a middle term as 2ab to making a perfect square formula. We must want a term having x along with there so we can choose one x term and one constant term to make it a perfect square. So we can write x power 4 square plus x power 4 plus 1 square is if this one is a this one is b so it should be a plus 2ab so we can write it like a plus b whole square is equals to a square plus 2ab plus b square so now let's check it out that either this one is our 2ab or not plus 2a b plus b will be 1 square so we can write 1 in place of them so we have x4 as a and 1 as b so definitely this one's not our a b term so we can write this x4 and as we added this one so we have to subtract the same thing from this expression to balance this one so in place of this complete portion we can write a plus b whole square so it will be like x4 plus 1 square plus minus minus 2x4 minus x4 will result as minus x4 now this one is again a formula of which formula a plus b and a minus b should be equal to a square minus b square this one is my a square and this one is b square as we know x4 is equals to x square over square so we can write it like x4 plus 1 plus x square and x4 plus 1 minus x square this one is the answer if we want to do more so we can also do it like we have to factorize this and that as well by applying the same formula but there is not much needed we did this ask to factorize so we can write it like that hope you like it take care bye bye and don't forget to subscribe